Hey, 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 and what's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am uh, Full Tilt Gaming. Justin, I will be your host here for this. Uh, look into Fishing Barents Sea. Now, this is uh, takes place up in the upper uh, Norwegian coastline off the Atlantic side, so uh, that's kind of our location of our game. Uh, now, <clears throat> special thanks as well to Astragon Entertainment and Miss, Linus, or, uh, Miss Games, uh, M-I-S-C, or at least over here in the States for Miscellaneous Gaming. Uh, making ideas come true. So I'm only plugging them because those guys have granted me access a week early uh, to be able to put some footage together, put some videos, some maybe some tutorials, gameplay walkthroughs, and also we are live streaming a fishing barrency as well uh, nightly. So we'll do uh, we're doing a few things, kind of putting this in our rotation right now. I'm actually enjoying the game very much. So let's go ahead and let's get into it here. And I'm gonna keep these videos somewhat short and kind of compact. So welcome to a a what to expect. Uh, what is this about? L give me some more info. Let me find out if it's something I want to purchase, find out if it's something I want to buy. Uh, this does come out February 7th, just to uh, so you're aware of that. So this is where you start off here. We're starting off in, in Hammerfest. Uh, so we've got a few different cities. So let's first take a look around here. Uh, let's look at the map. Let's look at some of those things to kind of get an idea where we're going to be. So um, once things kind of do, down here you'll see on your bottom right here, weather forecast. Uh, all these are exactly what's coming up and what the game is uh, going to pull in for the next couple of days. Uh, once you get out on the open sea, though, they will run a forecast, which I guess, depending on what kind of boat you're looking at, uh, what kind of toss style of fishing you're doing, maybe that may make a, a difference as to what you're doing. Um, other than that, you've got a couple things over here on the left. Let me go ahead. Let's let's pull our uh, let's pull our, our forecast down. So. At your main docks here, now this is your main your main area of Hammerfuss. This is kind of where the, the, the this is where the epicenter is. So standard fish prices. So once you bring in your catch, this is where everything comes back. This is where everything's sold, uh, and this is also where you can get a readout on what's really selling, what's really hot, uh, the things that are really kind of going on. Standard fish prices here. You've got cod, five main choices of fish: cod, pollock, haddock. Uh, redfish and mackerel and it's also where you buy fish now right now in the little dinghy that we're in that's what i like to call it. it's a little uh, little dinghy so inside of this we're actually looking at somewhere uh can't remember exactly but i think storage i can't remember the storage it doesn't matter it fills up pretty quick you can upgrade these but right now i've got four unbaited long lines now those long lines are basically like a glorified jug lines what we call them here in the south basically we'd put two jugs and then tie hooks onto a string uh, and those would hang down so long, the fish would come up there to eat them. As the fish would go down, they would uh, they'd catch on those floats. They would keep them from singing, and would essentially would pull the hook in and would kind of lock that hook in and set the hook on the fish. And therefore, it couldn't really get away. It always try to swim down, lodging the hook even further in. So that's kind of the idea of the long line. It's not a, a terribly complicated concept, and in the game itself, it does not really take a lot to do any of it. It doesn't take a lot of talent to take a lot of skills. That's where you start off, but you do start off pretty quick and you start making money pretty quick. So, uh, between fish prices, let's move on down. So, down to the town uh, is the other place where you'll be able to hire your crew, you'll be able to fire your crew, uh, be able to do all those kinds of things. So, certain boats give you certain uh, access to more crew. As you get bigger, uh, then you'll have more access to more crew. Uh, you'll have access for different types of crew, different crew that is good for certain things. As you can see here, Olaf is really not very good at anything. He's good at machine gutting. Great. Uh, so we'll call him the cut man. Uh, and then we've got Mr. Rasmussen. We've got a big sponsor on the channel, Mr. Chance Rasmussen. So maybe this is a distant relative there. So he has this net hauling machine, long line hauling. So he's actually pretty good at the things uh, at those particular things. And then you've got someone like Einar uh, Haroldson. He's a good long line hauling repair uh, specialist there. So you can see all these guys have certain pluses and certain minuses. And you can also see their hiring prices and their weights fluctuate just as much as what their talents and skills are. Uh, you can also fire your crew uh, from this one as well. Now the bank uh, is incremental. So the more money that you have inside of your actual cash reserves, these are all in this KR is Kroner, uh, which is a Norwegian, uh, it's in their currency. So and you're, so you've got all your bars. So if you have, uh, let's say we've got 100,000 Kroner, well, your, your, your biggest uh, one that you can actually, your biggest loan that you can take uh, is for the 48 month term, 
and that's what is that that's a, a monthly payment of 3,000 kroner and that's by month I mean, that's that's really actually really good and that's for 48 months you that actually goes up the amount that you can take so once you get up into getting about the 100 120 140 maybe 150 thousand then you can take out a very 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 nice loan because the whole idea is to get you into the next boat so that you can forward progress in game but also so that you can pay off that boat as you fish kind of you know that's the whole reason of buying a boat the work to pay it off uh, okay, now the bar, there is no bar in Hammerfest. So there's uh, where you get your jobs from. Jobs will come in from there, and then also boat services. So this is where you can sign up for the naval towing. So if you're one of those guys that likes to run out of gas, well, this is what you probably want. Unlimited free towing to the closest port for 10,000 kroner a year, and not to mention that it costs 8,000 kroner for one single tow. So, yeah. So that, uh, yeah. That, that's a biggie now the only other last thing here is at the dock now this is where you can buy the fuel repair the hull or repaint your boat so if you want to let's say you've got um one of the other boats that has multiple colors then you can paint those colors and paint your boat whatever color you want to so a lot of them will have colored striping uh with along the white you can put that wherever you want to um, also each boat comes with its own subset of upgrades so as we're kind of thumbing through these you can see you can actually change the name so uh, we we saw on here that you can do troweling uh, so let's just instead of full tilt gaming how about let's just go with fully uh, fully troweled gaming troweled gaming like a trowel line how about there fully troweled there we go that's fine with me so you've got standard stores and you also up per uh per thousand kilograms now those get uh pretty extensive now i'll say this especially on the small boat don't waste your money on this please don't waste it it's not worth it just keep on trucking uh get as much as you can fast travel back and forth to wherever you need to go you'll use more fuel but you won't be wasting time and storage space and engine upgrades because these are ridiculously expensive we'll get you into the next boat asap exactly know why we kind of zoomed in there but okay um and then radar upgrades uh searchlights all of this stuff is upgradable and it even gets more extensive as you get further on in with the boats um as when you so let's take a peek here purchase boats right here's what we've got now these right now we've got five i would maybe look to see that possibly these will come up now the this will be the second boat uh, as I was saying earlier about the color of the boats and stuff, like you see, we've got this this orange. Um, that's the same exact same exact thing. So we can we could probably up this. You could you get it any color you want to. And now with the Catherine, this is kind of your uh, your midline ship. Um, you see, it does have anchor now. Whether or not the, a lot of these will be still suitable for long line. You see the long line there on the side. Um, the sticking out of the side. Now you've also got other things on these. A lot of these will carry nets. Uh, that'll come directly out of the back and then it'll expand out there's also other types of fishing which we're going to get into here in just a minute now lunar bile um this is another one this is kind of one of the this is the next to next to last flagship uh model of the, of the uh, boats and you see it's pretty slick as well complete bridge up on top and the hermes the hermes is kind of like the flagship uh boat here of the of the title uh, you see it's got this like it's net roll in the back and uh, it's just really cool yeah, it's good looking good looking boat now let's look at a few other things you can see that they are locked as well now one other little caveat about the boats they don't necessarily require that you do a specific amount of stuff and we just got a new uh arrival there mr roadkill 34 so wow appreciate the sub there man right in on the video just cut, came right on in Woo! i did had that happen before i guess we could have turned all that off but it doesn't matter that was cool um <laughs> he's like wow i get a shout out every time somebody watches the video there you go uh so yeah flagship model of the truck i mean of the uh, of the of the game there and you see engine horsepower all this stuff fuel tank you can see the total quota goes up so each boat is all is able to carry more quota of fish um, you'll kind of notice as you get down here, you see the total quota is 110,000 kilograms per the year. So once you've called 110,000, that's it. As you move up, that quota goes up and up and up and up and up. So let's go down one more place here. Let's go back to the, is it the town or is it the fish market? I don't know which one it was. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead. Let's go fishing. Um. Uh, oh, oh wait, no, no, no. Here it is. Sorry, sorry. Let me get get my mind straight there. Okay, so here is where all of your wiki stuff is. Now the wiki uh, for this is is really good for uh, all basically your 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 internal manual here of the title. 
Um, your fish, you basically got five different styles of fish, cod, pollock, haddock, redfish, and mackerel. Uh, whether or not those will be expandable at a certain time down the line, I have no idea. Probably depends on the success of the game and the ability to, to add in stuff, whether it's microtransactional DLCs. I have no idea. Now, the other the cool thing about this game uh, is the shrimp, crab, krill, and mackerel hood that you see on your screen. These all are all used to catch different styles of fish. So, you know, it may be that you want to use the shrimp, it may be really good. As you can see here, your catch probabilities go up. So, you know, I don't know if anybody remembers JCB Mars. We did that on here. There was the same idea. It was kind of a craft survival space game, but it used the same concept of probabilities of the, the different places that you dug would would gain you certain probability or higher potential probability of getting certain minerals in certain places. Same idea, you use a certain bait to give you a better catch probability ratio and say if we're using shrimp then that's going to be a 60% return more than likely in your catch of cod. So let's say if you caught 100 fish, 60 of those fish are probably going to be cod or at least really close to it. Same way with crab, krill, and mackerel. You can see that they all are caught uh, these are all your baits, so they're all caught different stuff. That one has more of a probability of paddock. This one's catching. Uh, krill is really used on redfish. And then crab, uh, it looks like it's more on the cod and the haddock and pollock side, heavy on those ends. Uh, and then shrimp, of course, is back to cod. So otherwise, fishing tools, lots of other stuff as well. So not only long line fishing, which is kind of the, the glorified jug fishing, you do have net fishing, which is depth gaugeable, so trawling. Um, you've got three different styles of trawling. Now, you've also got uh, now a few of these that you can only use with a particular style of boat. Um, now, the bottom trawling, that's simple. Um, Pelagic and the, the actual other trawling. So once you get the lunar bow, you can see you can read all of these through uh, as well. But you have to have and you have to keep certain rules in mind as you do some of these. So they'll kind of teach you through and kind of walk you through little tutorials as you get into different styles of fishing. Same way with this one as well. So uh, right now, at least the beginning, they start you off with long line fishing, which is fine. It's enough to catch the actual functionality of using the store, using the fish, using the bait, different baits to catch certain fish, those kinds of things. And then you've got your general stuff, how to deliver fish, what you need to know about crews, and then what you need to know about the docks, exactly what's in there, exactly what each individual thing is, if you don't know what it is already. Hopefully this video is going to kind of catch you up, or it's going to at least, it's going to at least kind of pull this game into a little bit more of uh, what you need to know before you buy. Like, oh, wow, this has got a lot of depth to it. That's what I thought. Um, I kind of thought, well, this is going to be cool to kind of get in here. It'll be great to see how it interacts with the channel, how the guys in live stream really like it, because that's always a good... Uh, this kind of fits this this channel build that we have here uh, of kind of the work line job sim. Uh, but nonetheless to say, once we've really broke into this game, I'm very surprised at the depth that it does offer even on the fishing side. It's more commercial fleet side. It's still really, really, really good. So, um, all right. So that's that uh, introduction. Got all that bait. Yes, fishing tools general. Sweet. All right. So one more thing. Let's go ahead and let's look at the map last. Um, now, a couple of things here that you'll see fish populations. You'll also see uh, everything that you see here in gray is all an extra thing to go look for. It's an extra thing to discover. It's an extra, you know, whatever you want to say. So as you look, you have undiscovered locations. Now, it's up to you. I, you know, some people say I immediately go do that. That's the first thing that I go do. Um, so as you get into open water, I'm not sure how much more or if this map can expand. Will it expand to the ships or we're going to look at bigger ships? I have no idea what the DLC outlook or the DLC plan on this. So if you're commenting those to the video, I have no idea. Um, all I know is what I know, at least from this, this initial press review copy of this. So as the game comes in, as the game comes out, as we break into this game a little bit more, uh, especially in live streams as well, then we'll start looking at those. But... The one thing that I will say about this is anything that's in blue means that it's at a discovered uh, area. So once you start looking, you start running sonars, once you start driving around, or I should say, you know, once you start puttering around here in your little dinghy, uh, you'll start to see the trails that you make will be blue. Now, the, the, the cool thing about the way that this game interacts with it is you can look at all species of fish. Now, right here, we're just going to take a little quick look right here in our little circle 
Um, now you can actually break this down and see what kinds of fish are in this particular area. Now, as you branch this out and go, uh, you know, as you go look for more better areas of fish, um, you can see exactly what you need to look for. Now, once you get into like, a, now I know this just because I know it's there. There's a bar here, um, but there's also this one right here. There is a bar here that has jobs. Now, once you pretty much make it through the tutorial, it's going to ask you to go to that. So you're going to have to drive all around the corner of the island. And it is a haul. I'm not going to lie. You want to do it on a very smooth day. Mine was not so smooth and I had to fast forward it. But that is, uh, you go all the way around, there's a bar and you got jobs. Um, so once you go in there, it'll set you up with a certain amount of uh, kilograms, uh, about said poundage, uh, kilograms of fish that you need to catch to kind of help the town out. And then they reward you for that, plus whatever you sell the fish for. Now, the one thing that they'll do is to tell you, hey, we are a shortage of pollock. So we want you to catch pollock. And they're like, oh, I don't even know where they are. Well, this thing, and the good thing about this is it allows you to separate all your species off. So this is another kind of form of help in the game where you're not just aimlessly just kind of floating around here, around in the open waters, trying to figure out where stuff is. So that's another just kind of a, a little point as, as you kind of get into the game, as you get started, that's just something else to kind of, you know, be, be on the lookout for. So other than that, that's really at least, that's a good, really quick package of how to do this. Now, a couple of things down here in the bottom, you've got your speed of your boat. You've also got the fuel in there and you've also got the, the strength and the rigidity of your boat as it is at that moment. Right now, everything's at 100%, which is great. Now up here, Kroner, uh, which is where my camera is, so you're not gonna see that. You've got basically got a date of what date it is and things go in real time for the game. So things pass by pretty slow, uh, but then as you, you know, as you get through, things are pretty slow um, time rate. But you can, if you come back, you can skip time as well. So um, I think, you know, as I break into this a little bit more, we're going to look into some other things. But I'm also going to have more of a running sim, more of a running game inside of our live streams. So I'm going to be trying to, as we complete stuff there, I'm going to try to do some tutorials along the way. Um, and trying to kind of keep up with the title here as we kind of go from start to finish. So I'm really kind of looking forward to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little, little intro, just getting started what you need to know here. We're going to get started here with long line uh, fishing and do a couple of recordings of that as well, just before we start breaking into some of the new boats and that kind of stuff, just enough to kind of get you uh, up and going here. And if you haven't, go ahead and hit that like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, uh, and we'll be, be able to bring back more uh, great content of this. Like this video if you do, just let me know, hey man, I want to see some more of this on see videos and show up around 10 30 p.m eastern standard time uh we are going to be featuring a quite a bit of live streaming here with fishing uh the parent sea this is uh like i said on the norwegian coast here uh, uh, on the atlantic side so beautiful sceneries beautiful graphics absolutely uh really 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 well done these guys have done a, a really really fantastic job with it and a special big shout out as well from full deal gaming myself uh to all those guys at astragon entertainment and also miscellaneous games uh, appreciate big thumbs up you guys for giving me an opportunity to be able to stream put some footage together a uh, week before release that's really big stuff so i appreciate the opportunity to do that so like i said guys uh, life's a journey, travel it well. Uh, come back, hang out with us here on any one of our live streams, and also kind of come back and keep checking out these videos. And let me know what you want to see. You want to see a little bit more uh, of a particular boat, a different uh, style of fishing. We're going to be bringing videos and live streams all up those. I will be letting you know exactly in, in each title of each stream what we'll be doing as well. So if you want to look for one particular one, just kind of hang on or drop a comment in one of these and let us know. Hey man, I want to see some more long line fishing, or I'll see some more trawlers, some more bottom. bottom bottom line netting whatever it is you want to guys you want to see here the channel uh go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure that bell is hit and that way you'll be able to be notified of all good content here coming out from fpg so that's it for me so special thanks to all the astragon gaming guys miscellaneous games and for you guys watching there at home and on live streams as we get to them so anyway it's gonna be it for me guys i will see you here in the next video if you enjoyed it don't forget like subscribe share and we'll see you here on the next one guys we'll see you peace